matter with you? You're not here of Harding, are you? <laughs> Darling, you, you of all people doing the pool. It's like discovering the Archbishop of Canterbury wears nothing under his hassock. <laughs> hassock. What was that, darling? Uh, the word is cassock. Hassock is what the Archbishop of Canterbury kneel on. Nonsense. Yeah. Hassocks are the small towning Sussex. <laughs> you couldn't have Archbishops of Canterbury kneeling on small towns in Sussex. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even in his sea. So it's what? A sea deer. Well, of course it's not. It's miles inland. <laughs> down the other side of Downs from Brighton. Anybody knows that. How did we start the conversation? You brought up the Archbishop's cassock. I never lifted it. No. <laughs> you know what I can't get over. I can't get over. You recognize him after all these years. Moth to the eyeballs. I didn't. I didn't. Mavis and Summer told me that you were among those in the unsaddling enclosure. Oh, typical. She's sworn as full of moose. She wouldn't breathe a soul to a living word. <laughs> Congratulations, darling. I do hope you'll be awfully happy. Oh, well, 23,000 pounds does make a difference. Uh, no, the only thing is... No, no, I didn't, I didn't mean the money. I meant marrying Freddie Philipson. What are you talking about? Well, maybe tell me the whole story. He's going to propose this evening. What? He wanted to propose the moment he first saw you, but when you hadn't got any money, he thought it might look like a deep sea rescue. <laughs> but now you're rolling. I'm not rolling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little Unsteady, do be careful of the photographers, please. Since they laid off George Brown, they all seem to have joined Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> it's all fixed. He's rehearsing this afternoon. Oh, George Brown? No, no, Freddy is going to go down on his two tiny knees and pop his little question. <coughs> and when you nod your head, he's going to whisk you off to the talk of the town, the cabaret Sandy Shore. <laughs> Keep your eyes on her feet, put your right off the food. <laughs> it's an enchanting evening, all because you sent in that ridiculous coupon. That's the awful thing. I've got to tell you. I've got to tell somebody. I never sent in a coupon in my whole life. Does that matter? Of course it matters! Uh, sir, uh, Mrs. X, I'm sorry to interrupt your little tete-a-tete, -tete, but we, we must have the group. Uh, uh, moral rearmament or the move? <laughs> Photographs of the winner, sir, with you presenting the checks. Oh, of course, my precious. Come on, huh? Yes. Oh. Huh? <laughs> yes, of course I'm all right. <laughs> Uh, is my mascara running? It's difficult to say, darling. You're wearing a mask. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why? Do you know why I'm wearing a mask? Because I put an X for no profanity. <laughs> <laughs> well, we try and walk this way. Yes, all right. Here we go. This way. Oh, oh dear. I do wish this Excelsior would learn to lace carpets properly. <laughs> that one is worse than Digpool Blick Dapper. <laughs> Digpool Blick Dapper. There you go. <laughs> Can we have a nice big smile from everybody, please? Just think of that 23,000 pounds. And perhaps a few well-chosen words from you, sir, as you present the chair. Thank you. Well, now, Mrs. Uh, Todd. Todd. Oh, congratulations. And now that you've got all this money, do promise me one thing. Don't stop going to Norman Hartnell, will you? <laughs> and now, Mr. Uh, uh, Granger. Granger. Well done. And what are you going to do with all that? Oh, I'm going in for racing pigeon. Ah. <laughs> Hope you win. <laughs> My dearest darling, Mrs. X, yes. I was about to say so. You're the really clever one, winning all that money without even sending in a coupon. <laughs> What's that? I beg your pardon. What do you mean hey, she never sent in? Lady. Quite true. I never send in a coupon in my whole life. Oh, Mrs. X. Mrs. X, does that mean I I'll can't tell you exactly what it means. It means your entry is null and void. Don't be disgusting. <laughs> and that threat is hideous. Look, if she never sent in a coupon, it means she's not entitled to any money. And you're greedy. No wonder you're going to race pigeons. You've got a big fat crop. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. X, I'm, I'm awfully sorry, but I'm afraid we shall have to ask you for that check. Pending inquiries. Yes, please, no more photographs, gentlemen. Please. And no publicity until this unfortunate matter is settled. Yeah, there was a photograph earlier. Now, where's he? I think he's gone. Oh, per per perhaps we could call on you later this evening. After we've investigated the legal aspect. Yes, uh, meanwhile, we will uh, we'll keep I, in touch. Could I just have one last lingering glance? Ah, uh, 23, then the comma, then the three little north. They say pleasant reading, and not they? Bye-bye. <laughs> I didn't say anything out of place, did I? No, 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 dear. Essence of tax, as always. Never mind, my precious. There's always Freddy. 
I'm terribly sorry. I know I should have told you, but I thought that as my name was on the coupon, that it would be all right to sit my... Oh, excuse me. I just asked the first. Hello. Those Radio 257 Nash. Mummy. Jennifer. Darling, don't tell me. I know. You've got chicken pox. Uh, excuse me, it's my daughter. I've just got away. Yes, dear, what is it? Listen, Mummy, I'm in a call box and I've put sixpence in and I haven't got any more money, so shut up. Mummy, darling, we've won. We what? We've won the triple chance, darling. Hang on. Would you? Would you I can't. I haven't got any more money. Hang on. Reverse the charges. Oh, you can't reverse the charge from a call box. Hang on. W would you two gentlemen mind going out into the hall and listening to this conversation on the extension? Certainly. Yes. Yes. Hang on. Hang on. Yes, yeah, how are your spots, dear? Right, now, 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 tell me, what were you saying about us winning something? Well, it's in the evening paper, your photograph, getting the check from Godfrey Scott. 23,000, Mummy, it only cost me two and three. I've been doing it every week. Your name's trying to help with the situation. At last we got Cowslip found the copy... Uh, uh, Miss Cowper, dear, Cowper. Yes. Well, she found the copy coupon in my desk and confiscated it, so I couldn't check. Oh, Mummy, darling, you'll be able to... Hello? Hello? Hello, Jennifer! <laughs> oh, God, what's going on? Jennifer! Oh. She wins me twenty-three thousand pounds, and she hasn't got another sixpence. <laughs> well, she's obviously underage. But didn't use her own name. Oh, it's very bad publicity for the firm. Should we contact our legal department? Well, you know, Mr. Vernwood said, act on your own initiative. The investor is the one person who matters. Yes. If there's a slightest shadow of a doubt, pay. Yes. After all, we're very well covered by the thirty-three and a third percent, thirty-five deductible expenses. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, naturally. Ah, Mrs. Villiers. With the compliments of Vernwood Poole. Poole. Yes. Miss Vale! Mrs. Vale! Tell me, Miss Vale! 23,000 pounds! Oh. 22,000 pounds of debt, small donation to the Church Restoration Fund, and I may even be able to keep you on. Oh, madam! Out of the red at last, but only just. Oh, where's Mr. Phillipson? Oh, madam, I clean forgot to tell you. He's in his bed. Oh, not again. What's he got now? Hard pad? <laughs> well, he was doing some kind of exercises in here this afternoon. He was stooping and he's ripped his back. He thinks it's either a slip disc or his coccyx. He's <laughs> 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 a little minced chicken. Well, I'll take it up here. If he's hurt his back, he may need a little manipulation. <laughs> Small towning Sussex. <laughs> you couldn't have Archbishops of Canterbury kneeling on small towns in Sussex. <laughs> it's not even in his sea. So it is what? A sea deer. Well, of course it's not. It's miles inland. <laughs> down the other side of the downs from Brighton. Anybody knows that? How did we start this conversation? You brought up the Archbishop's cassock. I never lifted it. No. <laughs> you know what I can't get over. I can't get over you recognize him after all these years. Moth to the eyeballs. I didn't. I didn't. Mavis and Summer told me that you were among those in the unsaddling enclosure. Oh, difficulty sworn as full of most. You wouldn't breathe a toe to a living word. <laughs> Congratulations, darling. I do hope you'll be awfully happy. Oh, well, 23,000 pounds does make a difference. Uh, no, the only thing is... No, no, I didn't, I didn't mean the money. I meant marrying Freddie Phillipson. What are you talking about? Oh, maybe it's told me the whole story. He's going to propose this evening. What? He wanted to propose the moment he first saw you, but when you hadn't got any money, he thought it might look like a deep-sea rescue. <laughs> but now you're rolling. I'm not rolling. <laughs> oh, little unsteady, do be careful of the photographers, please. Since they laid off George Brown, they all seem to have joined Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> it's all fixed. He's rehearsing this afternoon. Oh, George Brown? And then no, Freddy is going to go down on his two tiny knees and pop his little question. <coughs> and when you nod your head, he's going to whisk you off to the talk of the town. The cabaret stand be sure. <laughs> Keep your eyes on our feet, put your right off the food. <laughs> he's getting his chance in the evening, all because you sent him that ridiculous coupon. That's the awful thing. I've got to tell you. I've got to tell somebody. I never send in a coupon in my whole life. Does that matter? Of course it matters! 
Uh, Mrs. X, I'm sorry to interrupt your little tete-a-tete, -tete, but we, we must have the group. Uh, moral rearmament or the move? <laughs> the photographs of the winner, sir, with you presenting the checks. Oh, of course, my precious. Come along, now. Huh? Yes. Well, huh? <laughs> oh, I don't know where Yes, of course I'm all right. <laughs> Uh, my mascara running. It's difficult to say, darling, you're wearing a mask. <laughs> Do you know why? Do you know why I'm wearing a mask? Because I put an X for no profanity. Shall <laughs> <laughs> uh, we try and walk this way? Yes, I do wish this is Celsius would learn to lace carpets properly. <laughs> that one is worse than Digpool Blick Dapper. <laughs> uh, Digpool Blick Dapper. <laughs> Can we have a nice big smile from everybody, please? Just think of that twenty-three thousand pounds. And perhaps a few well-chosen words from you, sir, as you present the cheque. Thank you. Well, now, Mrs. Uh, Todd. Todd, congratulations. And now that you've got all this money, do promise me one thing: don't stop going to be disgusting. <laughs> and that threat is hideous. Look, if she never sent in a coupon, it means she's not entitled any money. And you're greedy. No wonder you're going to race pigeons. You've got a big fat crop. <laughs> Mrs. X, I'm, I'm awfully sorry, but I'm afraid we shall have to ask you for that check. Pending inquiries. Yes, please, no more photographs, gentlemen. Please. And no publicity until this unfortunate matter is settled. Yeah, there was that photograph earlier. Now, where's he? I think he's gone. Oh, per per perhaps we could call on you later this evening. After we've investigated the legal aspects. Yes, uh, meanwhile, we will uh, we'll keep I, in touch. Could I just have one last lingering glance? Uh, 23, then the comma. Then the three little north. It's very pleasant reading, isn't it? Bye bye. <laughs> I didn't say anything out of place, did I? No, 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 dear. Essence of tax as always. Never mind, my precious. There's always Freddy. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. I know I should have told you, but I thought that as my name was on the coupon, that it would be all right to sit like... Oh, excuse me, I just answered the first. Hello, Earl Gravy 257 Nash. Mummy. Jennifer. Darling, don't tell me. I know, you've got chicken pox. Uh, excuse me, it's my daughter. I've just got away. Yes, dear, what is it? Listen, Mummy, I'm in a call box and I've put sixpence in and I haven't got any more money, so shut up. Mummy, darling, we've won. We what? We've won the treble chance, darling. Hang on. Would you... Would I you can't. I haven't got any more money. Hang on. Reverse the charge. You can't reverse the charge from a call box. Hang on. W would you two gentlemen mind going out into the hall and listening to this conversation on the extension? Certainly. Yes. Hang on, hang on. Get your higher spots, dear. Oh, Matron says it's just some sort of rash, but she wouldn't know. Oh, Mummy, please. Right, now, 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 tell me. What were you saying about us winning something? Well, it's in the evening paper. Your photograph getting the check from Godfrey Scott. 23,000, Mummy. It only cost me two and three. I've been doing it every week. It's your name. Uh, Miss Cowper, dear, Cowper. Yes, ma'am. Well, she found the copy coupon in my desk and confiscated it, so I couldn't check. Oh, Mummy, darling, you'll be able to... Hello. Hello. Hello, Jennifer. <laughs> oh, God, we're coming off. Jennifer. Jennifer. She wins me £23,000 and she hasn't got another sixpence. <laughs> She's obviously underage. But didn't use her own name. Oh, it's very bad publicity for the firm. Should we contact our legal department? Well, you know what Mr. Vernwood said. Act on your own initiative. The investor is the one person who matters. Yes. If there's a slightest shadow of a doubt... Pay. Yes, after all, we're very well covered by the 33 and a third percent 35 deductible expenses. <laughs> That's a basic check. Yes, well, naturally. Ah. Mrs. Villiers, with the compliments of Vernwood Poole. Poole. Yes. <laughs> 